Hello animal lovers and welcome to OFL Meet My Pet. My name is Katie and I love animals. I love scaly animals, I love furry animals, I love animals with feathers, and I have all kinds of pets in my home. Um, I'm all about taking care of animals and so for the next few weeks I'm going to be sharing some members of my home zoo and then challenging you to share yours. I'd like you to meet Reptar. Reptar is a bearded dragon. Um, they get their name from their appearance. Obviously, he looks a little bit like Toothless from How to Train Your Dragon. And um, they get the beard part of their name from this cool flap of skin that's under their chin. They can flare this out and make it turn black, and that's a defense mechanism for them. They can do that when they feel threatened. Um, despite the fearsome name, though, he's pretty calm. He's pretty relaxed. Um, bearded dragons actually make great pets because they are such calm, friendly animals. Um, Reptar is about five years old. He's about 18 inches long. He's fully grown. And believe it or not, bearded dragons can live to be 10 to 15 years old in captivity if you take good care of them. So we're going to take a look at what that involves. Bearded dragons are originally from desert regions in Australia, which means that they thrive in warm temperatures. Like other reptiles, they are cold-blooded, and they control their body temperature by moving in and out of the hot sun. But heat isn't all they get from the sun, though. Bearded dragons also need UVB rays, the same rays that cause sunburn in humans. Lizards can use UVB rays by absorbing it through their skin and processing vitamins and nutrients to stay healthy. So obviously Australia is very different from Syracuse. Our goal as bearded dragon keepers is to take a little corner of your house and set it up to include all the things that a bearded dragon would have in the wild. Warm temperatures, cooler temperatures, UVB rays, fresh air, places to climb and places to hide, clean water, and lots of different kinds of healthy food. A terrarium like this one works well. There's fabric on the bottom so it's easy to clean. The top is made of screens so air can move in and out and the lights on top control the temperature and give off UVB rays. Bearded dragons like to stay between 75 and 100 degrees Fahrenheit. They'll pick a spot that lets them get to just the right temperature. When they sit in the sun or under a basking light, their bodies warm up, their blood flows more quickly, they perk up, and they become more alert and active. Because they're cold-blooded, they can't make their own heat the way we do. If they can't get warm enough, they can't digest their food, they won't have energy to play, and they just won't feel good. At night though, they will pick a cooler spot so they can settle down and get a good night's sleep. Bearded dragons eat all kinds of food, including fruit, vegetables, and insects, which means that like humans, they're omnivores. Baby bearded dragons eat more bugs than vegetables, but once they're adults, it's the opposite. An adult bearded dragon should eat plants a bit more than half the time. Good plants for bearded dragons include dark leafy greens like mustard, collard, and dandelion greens, sweet potato, broccoli, carrots, apples, and bananas. They also love live insects like crickets, superworms, hornworms, and roaches, which you can get from the pet store. Dust any live insects with calcium powder to make them more nutritious. Even though bearded dragons are native to the desert, they still need water. They can get a lot of what they need by eating plants, but they still need fresh water available at all times. Reptar does not like drinking from a bowl, so he gets baths in a shallow pan, and you can see him here having a drink. Anytime your dragon is out of its cage, and especially if it's in water, you need to watch them carefully. Dragons can quickly drown, run away, or be injured by other animals. It's your job to keep them safe. As I'm sure you've noticed from watching this video, Reptar might be the laziest bearded dragon in the world. He's pretty much always this relaxed. And not all bearded dragons are like that. Some of them are very relaxed, some of them are very energetic and playful, and they love to explore and climb things. Um, and that's the great thing about adopting a new pet, is you get to know them as an individual and all the things that make them unique. Now it's your turn to share with the Onondaga Free Library community all about your pet or your favorite animal.
This week, I challenge you to think about your pet's unique personality and figure out which mythical creature or fictional character your pet or favorite animal is most like, and to compare and contrast them. You can answer the prompt in a video, a drawing, with photos, or with writing. Whatever you like. Send your response to info at oflibrary.org, and we will share some of them on our Facebook post. Don't forget to visit our website at www.oflibrary.org to check out all the awesome virtual events we have coming up, and also to borrow ebooks, get library updates, and get ready for summer reading. Check back next week to meet another one of my animal friends. 